you guys are. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is your boy, True Funnel, and today is the day. Nothing's going on today. <laughs> so today is Thursday, July, I say January, July the 26th. So I am two days away from going back to Chicago. So by the time you're watching this particular video, I'll be in Chicago already. So yeah, so and probably you're probably wondering rather, where am I at right now? Well, I am at Plymouth Township Park. So I always wanted to do a video out here because based on what I've seen, the place is nice, yo. So that's why I'm here, man. Now, unfortunately, this is a, I think it's a male needle in there. So not much is popping here for the spawns, but we're not here for the spawns. Even though I do want to take part in some raids, but they're tier one and tier two, and they're pretty much nothing. Well, no, that's not true. There's some shiny possibilities in there, but I want those new Alola rays. But while we're here, I want to talk to you guys about my five predictions going back to GoFest this year. So remember, I gave you guys five predictions that I thought would come true for GoFest. And I've never really reviewed those predictions. So that's what we're going to do here in this video. We're going to see if I got them right, if I got them wrong. Also, the lucky Pokemon are indeed in the game. We are going to look into that. And based on what I have learned from watching other people's videos and things of that nature, I can break it down for you guys how this will be useful or not useful. Who knows? We'll find out. So, yeah. What I'm about to do now is take over this gym right here, as you can see over there, over there, one of these two spots. I think it's over there. We're going to go with that. But anywho, yeah, we're going to take over this gym before this raid start, and then we're going to move on to the next location where I'm going to be talking to you guys about my five predictions for Go Fest. So, yeah, let's do this. I guess I'll walk. Well, I'm checking the game and there's no Pokemon spawning near me. So, let's start off with number five. So, my fifth prediction for Go Fest, as a butterfly was flying towards me. So, the fifth prediction that I made for Go Fest was that Toko was going to be at Go Fest. And I got it right. I mean, that was pretty much easy. Yes, I'm aware that was easy. But here's the reason why I made that prediction. As we were getting closer and closer to Go Fest, everybody forgot about it. Like, I was not hearing a lot of people talking about Toko, Toko, Toko. Nobody was not talking about it. Everybody would talk about Gen 4. Some people would talk about Deoxit, more of that later. And some people would talk about other stuff regarding GoFest. But not a lot of people would talk about Toko. So I was like, well, I think a lot of people forgot about it. So I'm going to make that my number five prediction. And remember, when I made these predictions, I went from most likely to least likely so Toko being at GoFest was the most likely prediction that's why I was number five and that's why I got it right so as I look at the game again there's nothing here we're going to keep it moving so yeah let's go this way That's, yeah, that is it. That's my camera. Okay, <laughs> I'll just play. But anywho, so we about to turn in a field research here. I got two to turn in. I need to turn in one of them today. And speaking of these field research that will lead you towards that box, well, the month of July is almost over. So it's time for August. So luckily, your boy Reversal tweeted this out here, man. My boy Raikou is back. We've been raiding. So that means next month, more than likely next month, Raikou will be in the breakthrough box. So if you keep on, as I scroll back up, if you keep on doing these field research, at August 1st, I'm more likely 4 p.m. Easter standard time, I'm assuming, we'll get Raikou instead of Snorlax. So that's what's up. Now, let's check out this reward here, see what it is. One of these is, oh, this is a Bulbasaur, and it's not shiny. So as my Pokeball just went off on its own, for some, was it because of this leaf? 
Let's get back to my prediction. So my number four prediction, speaking of this not being shiny, my number four prediction was that shinies were going to be at GoFest. And believe me, if you've seen my videos, if you've seen other people's videos who were at GoFest, there were shinies there. So shiny Aerodactyls, shiny Railmers, shiny Snow Runs, shiny Shumpets, shiny whatever. You know, they were there. Plus those and Minums, they were there. So we got shinies. So that prediction came true as well actually let me focus no i don't want that let me focus on getting this barbasaur real quick and then we're gonna move on to my number three prediction and see whether i got that correct or incorrect so yeah we about to capture this barbasaur and i think we just did and yeah we did that's what's up so we caught the barbasaur let's see what the ivs are as something just fell from the tree above me <laughs> i'm about to say what was that but okay attack 13, 14 attack, and eh, whatever. All right, so we about to get out of this jungle area and keep it moving. So yeah, let's go. So as you can see, I made my way out the wilderness and back into the park as I'm now at the back of the park as now I'm inside the dugout of a softball field. So let's take a look at the game. So I just hatched a Lone Line Sand Shrew and it's a 686 CP. It got 15 attacks. So this is a pretty good one. And guess who sent it to me? Pokemon Master Holly. Yes. So she actually sent me this one. So we're going to give this one a nickname we're gonna go with sand holly now this is the second sand shrew that she gave me so yeah there you go with that all right let's check on yeah she have more eggs hatching so yeah this is the 2k that i have hatching right here and actually this is should be rather the only egg hatching and it's a sand shrew or shelter rather that is not shiny boo hiss hiss all right and it's got crappy ivs which is not a bad thing because i can transfer it <laughs> make room in my pokedex now we got a shiny possibility here and it's not shiny unfortunately all right so i'm gonna catch that in a second so let me show you guys the news in terms of what i was talking about the last time i was talking to you guys and i went into the wrong thing new august resource task feature the electric type legendary pokemon raiku or raiko however you want to pronounce it so yes we are moving on from the snorlax and from any other regular pokemon and moving back to legendaries so that's what's up all right so we're gonna get out of that and we're gonna focus now on my third prediction that i made for go fest and that it will not, the unknowns will not spell Chicago. So I got that correct. So instead of them spelling Chicago, they spelled Celebi with the question mark. So yes, the question mark unknown was there. We got the C-E-L-B-I and the question mark unknowns at GoFest in Chicago. So again, it did not spell Chicago. And the only two letters that came from Chicago onto Celebi was the C and the I. Everything else was completely brand new from Chicago, which is the word that the unknown spelled last year. So I got this one correct as well. All right, so now I'm about to capture this Rosalina and explore the rest of this park. So yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> So I made it to an instinct gym and we about to take it over because there's no valid gyms here. There's only one instinct and three mystics. And the other three mystics will require some work as the wind is picking up now, which is a good and a bad thing because it was hot earlier. But now that the wind is picked up, it's cooled off big time, but it may interfere with the audio. So who knows with that? But anywho, as I'm about to take down this gym, let's talk about my number two prediction. And this is where, just like last year's predictions, everything gone south. 
Yeah. So, my, oh, I beat this thing. So my number two prediction for Goldfish was that trading will be either free or we can make more than one special trades per day during GoFest weekend. Now, I just say that did not come true. Obviously, trading was not free. Now, I will admit, I'm not sure if anybody tried to make more than one special trade. I didn't even make a special trade because I was too busy doing other stuff, like working with, not with, but for Holly. Hey, Holly. <laughs> but, yeah, I never really got a chance to do a special trade, so I'm not sure anybody else even tried to make more than one special trade. But I'm pretty sure they would have said something. So I have to say, no, I did not get that one correct. Now, if you excuse me, I'm about to take over the rest of this instant gym. So I'll be back in a second. Well, that was easy. All right, time to move on. Let's go. So I kind of did a lap around the park basically and now we got a shiny possibility right here with the mud crow. Let's see if it's shiny. Not shiny. Alright, so with that out the way, I'm about to leave here and try to decide if I want to take this gym down or not. But I may not do it, I don't know. But let's get on with the number one prediction that I made for Gold Fest and that is this. The Oxus. So, I thought that the Oxes were going to show up at GoFest alongside with Celebi, but apparently that did not. We only got Celebi. Celebi was not part of my number one prediction, because everybody at Mama knew that Celebi was going to be there, and of course Celebi was there. But I thought the Oxes would be there as well, all four of its forms, but obviously that is not the case, unfortunately. So, let's recap. My fifth, fourth, and third prediction for GoFest, I got correct. My second and first incorrect just like last year's prediction wow that's kind of crazy all right so there's a raid here there's five minutes left on it we're gonna try to jump in it before it's expired because we could get a shiny meta type so yeah while i'm taking on that raid i'm gonna talk about lucky pokemon so yeah stay tuned Here's the funny thing. So I made it to the spot. I made it to the gym where the Metatite raid was going on. Beat it, was it shiny, caught it, checked his IVs, it was okay, and I forgot to record it with this thing right here. So I'm about to say everything that I said a few moments ago. And that is this. Just talking about legend not legendary. Oh my gosh, this truck is kind of going fast. And that's talking about lucky Pokemon. So here's the deal with lucky Pokemon. So as we all know, Lucky Pokemon is now out. It's not a mistake by now. No, Lucky Pokemon is in the game. So, if you have no best friends or even ultra friends, I recommend that you hold off on that for a good minute. And here's why. I traded with myself the day it dropped. And even though we both got lucky Pokemon because mine, the Pokemon that I traded to my other account was like July of 2016 when the game dropped. And my other account, I had it traded to me, something that I call at GoFest this year. I got lucky Pokemon. We both got lucky Pokemon. It's not just one or the other. It's both of us. We both got lucky Pokemon because the one I traded was old as dirt. So the older the Pokemon is, and what I mean by old, I mean like how long has it been since you caught it. In my case, it was July 2016. The chances of, of both of us getting a, uh, what is it? a lucky Pokemon will increase. So, we both caught a lucky Pokemon for the trade. And the IVs were weaker than what they were originally on both Pokemon. And here's why. If you're good friends, great friends, or not even friends at all, then the IVs of the traded Pokemon will go down. Especially if they're lucky Pokemon. But if you're ultra friends or best friends, then the IVs will go up. And shout out to Reversal because he did a video about this informing us about this 
earlier today. Now, in regards to checking the IVs of your lucky Pokemon, it still works the same way. So for example, so yeah, let's look at my 98% Dragonite. So let's pretend that this is a lucky Pokemon. So the CP, you will still enter it at 3,445. The HP, you will still enter it at 152. And if we were to praise it, you know, it's for simply mazes. Attack, defense, both at 15, you will enter that in as well. Now, here's the thing, the starters. Now, if this was a lucky Pokemon, the starters would be half of this, which would be 4,500. Half of 9,000, 4,500. But when you enter it in, you don't enter 4,500. Instead, you double the amount that you would get if this was a lucky Pokemon. So in this case, if this was a lucky Pokemon and it said in the game 4,500, when you look up the IVs, you're going to enter 9,000. Because 4,500 times 2, you double that, it's 9,000. So... You enter 9,000, as I thought a bug was on my arm. You enter 9,000 and you get the IVs. So it still works the same way. So basically all you got to do is the Stardust of the Lucky Pokemon, you times two. You time that number times two as you enter it in and you're going to get the IVs. Shout out to Hybrid Mongoose for informing us of that. And congratulations on reaching 5,000 subscribers. So that's all the info there is for Lucky Pokemon. So basically, if... You want better IVs, you better get the friendships level up to ultra friends and or best friends. Otherwise, if you don't care about that, you just want lucky Pokemon, knock yourself out. Look for something old as dirt, and you'll be good for the most part. So, with that said, y'all know who this is. This is your boy, the new Jake Aspy, a.k.a. new Stephen A. Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. From Chicago, again, take care, y'all. Yeah. After you subscribe to the channel, make sure you click the bell icon so you never miss a new video or a live stream ever again. Thanks, guys.